Hello everyone, uh, my name is Katrina Strain and I'm from Ernacht. I hate that photo, it was taken on a really bad hair day. <laughs> um, I'll just discuss Ernacht and our role in the project. Um, Ernex stands for the European Regions Network for the Application of Communication Technology, so it's a very long <laughs> name. Um, we're a European Economic Interest Grouping, so we're, we're, um, we have got a, a legal agreement with other regions around Europe which we work with. Um, our focus is on regions and city um, ICT and, for instance, broadband wireless and e-public services. We were set up in 1991 and we had our 21st anniversary last year. And um, the partners that we have are regions and cities around Europe. We deliver practical trans-European digital agenda projects um, for European regions and we're project driven. And at the moment we've got six live um, transnational projects ongoing. So the network at the moment we're working with um, on digital agenda projects with for, that's actually 48 European regions and cities. So missing from that is um, four of the create partners, which are Drumfries, the Scottish Enterprises, Voca and West Flanders, Herefordshire, and um, the Midwest Regional Authority in Ireland. Uh, so we're working on those projects. We also um, I'll talk about that later. We've got seven core region members. They're based in Donegal and Derry, who set us up in 1991. Then San Sebastian and Santander, based in the north of Spain, Western Ireland and Sweden, and West Romania. And um, I think Sweden, Western Ireland, they've got like, I think they've the best broadband in Europe from um, when you work with people in Sweden. Um, we're also, we work with 133 other project partners around Europe and different regions and we've done work as well uh, for the European Investment Bank um, in Romania when they first joined the European Union, um, giving them advice and support on uh, creating their broadband strategy which was a precondition for them accessing uh, European structural funds. So the projects that we're currently involved in in the minute we're involved in three Interreg 4C projects. One, Engage, which is next generation broadband for rural areas. And um, eCoop, which is the impact of digital media on service delivery in regions. And MediaTek, which is helping the media go digital. And those projects are 75% funded, which means that um, uh, the regions can access 75% of um, ERDF, but they have to provide 25% themselves, the organisations. Then we're also um, involved in uh, three 4B projects, the first being the A Public Services, which is um, Atlantic Area 4B, and that's deploying e-services in the Atlantic Area, and we've got a, a, a seven-month extension in that and a few other European organisations have joined us and that's to disseminate the information to the other European regions that has come out of that project. Then the other 4B project is the Northern Periphery, it's um, TG4 or TG Cahar as we call it in Donegal and um, that's to develop mobile apps for tourism, uh, region for tourism with um, the, the participating partner regions. And then, of course, Create, which is uh, also an under 4 b project, and that's Northwest Europe. Um, so the AA Pub Serve is 65% funded, the Atlantic area. Uh, TG Cahar, the uh, Northern Periphery program, is 60% funded. And then, as Matt already said, Create is 50% funded, which means that all the participating partners provide 50% of the money themselves as well. Um, some project metrics, we have in the last, I'd say about 10 or 12 years, we've participated in 27 approved transnational projects around Europe. We, 15 of them were, were as lead partner, 9 we were partner and 3 we were acted as a consultant or a facilitator. And we've had 79% success rate in the projects that we've written and submitted to uh, funding bodies for approval and they were um, an average of €2 million. Euro. Our role in CREATE, well, we're a project partner like everyone else, firstly, and then we're also the, the Work Package Leader for Work Package 1. 
And so within that work package, we're responsible for coordinating and profiling broadband demand stimulation measures so that we can benchmark ourselves against other European regions and then acquire a baseline and a set of core principles that we'll use for the rest of the project. And my colleague Jose Manuel will speak more about that later on today. Um, we're also responsible for the communication activities, which we'll just discuss more in the afternoon, and that's like managing the website, social media, um, the external communication, and that kind of thing. Then um, we're also responsible for disseminating information to the other EU rural broadband projects within Europe and to the partners and regions. And um, then, as well as all the other partners, will work locally with the SMEs in the northwest of Ireland. So that's my presentation, and um, if you want to get in contact with us, our details are there.